Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So, I hope you guys are all doing good. What the heck lighting? I don't know what just happened to the lighting, but it's here to stay. I actually have a lot of stuff that I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video. So this is gonna be a lot of me like asking you guys questions and I need you to reply in the comments because I have some fun ideas. Um, but I just wanna know what you guys think of them. You know what I mean? So I'm actually like, freezing right now. So I'm gonna throw my car again on. It's 54 degrees outside <clears throat> and sunny. So that's pretty nice, but it's like cold in here. I feel like I'm also just like a wimp. I had an idea. My channel got approved for channel memberships, which is really cool. And if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like Patreon. And if you don't know what that is, that wasn't a good explanation. Um, so you can subscribe to my, or you can have a membership to my channel and you can pay a certain amount of money per month. You can set it up to where there's different tiers where the more money you pay, the more access you have. But I was kind of thinking, this is why I need you guys to let me know like, if you would be interested in this. I was thinking about charging like five or ten dollars a month and I wouldn't have tiers, it's just the one set fee and I would do like polls in there for you guys to decide what videos I make or if I want to do a Q&A then you guys would be able to do that or um, I would maybe try to film and upload two or three extra bonus videos a month that only that only the people with memberships would see or if I had like big news and I would share it in that group first if I ever decide to come out with like merchandise or anything like that then they would get like a discount code or even something for free it's something I'm interested in doing but I don't know if that's something that you guys are interested in doing so let me know what you think would you spend an extra five dollars a month to see more content get bonus content and to just get to know me more personally because i think you can also do like tight po whoa something like that. i think you can also do like tight like posts so i could do like a blog kind of deal and share more of my life with you guys not just what i record which is not a lot i don't know let me know what you guys think if i get enough feedback then maybe i will start it the second thing that i wanted to talk to you guys about i had another idea for a video series i was thinking about doing like weekly like every wednesday i would upload like a chit chat or like a chat room or like a what in the world kind of video um just kind of like sharing like all of the fun stuff that's happening like Last night, news broke that Gigi Hadid was pregnant. The rumors going around that um, Kim Kim Jong Un is dead. I don't know. I'm like, kind of, kind of feeling like doing that. But again, I don't want to do it if you guys think it'd be stupid. Also, I'm not exactly sure, but I don't think I'm gonna have a video up this Friday. So today's Wednesday, and I'm already gonna be struggling to get this video up today, and then I work tomorrow. And then Friday, I'm babysitting, and then I have, like, like a cleaning kind of thing to do. So, and I think that that's going to take up most of my day. So, I don't think I'm going to have time to film and edit and upload another video by Friday. So, maybe I'll try to give you guys a bonus video next week. Or this might just be a week where you only see me two times. So, sorry if that ends up happening. But in today's video... I am going to secretly rearrange our room without Peter knowing. Hi, so this is me editing the same day that you guys are watching this video. Um, I just wanted to point out that in this moment, I had no intention of doing our bedroom. I literally was like, literally just pulling it out of thin air i was like in today's video in my head i was like should i redo the bedroom and then i just said it that was really crazy that i literally just redecorated our whole bedroom without even having the intention of doing 
So I, I just wanted to like throw this in there. I know you guys probably don't care, but I just wanted to say this was not planned. I literally, it just like fell out of my mouth. So that was crazy. Um, the thing is, I should have started this a long time ago, but I, I don't think it'll take me too long because um, we don't have a lot of furniture. But I, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I just get bored of like my of our room you know when i was younger i would rearrange my room like a couple times a year i just felt like a new person like going to sleep in your newly arranged room it's like wow this is so nice and it's just it's just like the best feeling you know so let me just take you guys in there really quick and i'll show you okay so here's what it looks like now um <clears throat> you walk in this is the door and we've got our bed to the left in both of our um, side tables. We've got the window there, and then we have another window, and then we have our rug, our dresser, a mirror, um, this giant chair, and then this bassinet, and then our closet. So one of the reasons why I thought about reorganizing was because we really like sleeping with the window open, but with the window right above our heads, it like, we wake up with like stuffy noses and dry throats and it's just kind of really annoying. So I'm thinking about kind of rotating it to fit on this wall so that um, like right when you walk in, the door, the bed is like centered. I do want to keep that dresser close to the closet because it is pretty convenient but i might move it to this side of this but i'll probably end up moving that on this wall and then um i don't know about this chair i think the chair would look good over here next to the window so i just kind of want to flip flop it so i'm gonna work on that and i will bring you guys back once it's all done okay guys i'm currently driving um, so sorry if I'm not looking at the camera. So I started reorganizing the room and then I am on my way to Target. <laughs> so I realized that I actually have a lot of really cute stuff. Squirrel, you better get out of the road. Thank you. Um, I had, so I overbought for the kitchen. So I had a few little pieces left that I was able to decorate with. And then I realized, like, if I just go buy a really cute, um, well, not cute, I guess, um, just, like, a nice comforter, I really think it will draw the whole room together. And then I eventually want to buy, like, a really nice tall mirror, kind of, like, like the one I have, but not one that's, like, black and cheap, you know? I want to get, like, a really nice... Um, maybe one that's like wooden on the outside, you know So but those are very expensive. So I'm gonna have to save up for that I am on my way to actually meet Peter for lunch right now. We have free rewards from chick-fil-a. So we were going to I was gonna go pick it up and then bring it home But then I was like shoot I he can't come home I have the whole house like torn up because I moved everything from out of the bedroom so I had texted him to ask if we can like eat outside or maybe just meet somewhere else to eat and then he ended up calling me without seeing that text asking if we could just pick up the chick-fil-a and like eat in our car or something so it's like works perfect he doesn't even know I'm doing this which is really cool um I do have to babysit for about an hour from like one to two and then I can finish. Peter gets off at around five, um, but he will be home around four because um, he normally has to finish up work on his computer in his office. So I have to try to get it done by four, which I think is doable. So anyways, that's what I'm doing right now. I just wanted to update you guys. Things are going really good. And this is gonna be the fastest and cheapest room renovation ever <laughs> okay guys i've got my mask on i am at target and i'm gonna head in really fast i have to be home in in an hour so i have to kind of make this quick i'm just gonna be looking at the comforter sets and um i'm gonna look at their mirrors and see if they have anything for like 40 dollars because that's what i well it depends on how much i spend on the comforter 
um so we'll see i'm gonna head in i don't know how much i'll be able to vlog just because it's kind of hard talking with the mask on um and i just want to get in and out as fast as possible so i'll bring the camera but i don't know if i'll vlog i guess target is selling face masks now fifteen dollars that's kind of cool okay so i was looking online earlier and they didn't have they had a lot of options but in the store they don't have as many but i did find this one it looks really cozy and um the one for the queen is only 55 dollars so i've got that in my cart so i'm going to keep looking the thing is this comes with a comforter two shams and two decorative pillows all for 55 dollars and i was looking at like just a comforter and that's like $50 in itself. So I think I'm going to go with this one. The other thing, which I'm glad I remembered while I'm here, is that I need a new laundry hamper. Because the one I have from Ikea is like bent and bad looking. <laughs> so, I'm looking at hampers. Don't want to tell you which one I picked because I want it to be a surprise. I hope you can hear me. But these are the only mirrors that they have here at Target, and they're still $50 for literally just this plain mirror. So, I'm going to keep looking. It is really freaking hot outside right now in Colorado here. It is 67. I guess it's not that hot comparing to other places in the world i found a comforter a really cute one it was that one that i showed you um i actually the more i looked like at all the other comforters the more i realized like i really liked that one and then i found some cream colored sheets to match and then i got a new hamper i am actually gonna check my p.o box on the way home i haven't checked it in i don't know like two weeks i think so Maybe there's some stuff in there. So I, if there is stuff in there, I'll do a little P.O. box opening at the end of this video. I will see you guys sometime doing something. Holy cow, guys. It has been... So I came home. I babysat. My dad stopped by. Thank goodness, because he, I, he ended up helping me so much with the room. I'll give you guys a little tour. Um, I guess I could do it now. Peter is on his way home and I want to have the camera kind of set up in the room so that I can see his reaction. I need to powder my face. Holy cow. I am freaking shinier than a son of a gun. Okay, anyways. Um, I want to have the camera kind of set up in here so Peter can see so I can get his reaction. He's not really much of a reaction kind of guy, but whatever reaction he does have, I would like to get. It's not all the way done. Um, I have to, I'll have to accumulate a few more things, save up for a few things, but I really like the way it looks right now. So I'll flip the camera. Okay, so this is the door and this is our beautiful view. Sorry, that window looks weird. It's just really bright. So this is the, the new bed set. I really like the way it looks. I feel like having white in here just makes it so like more open and airy feeling. And then I only kept four pillows on the bed, which is not normal for me. Let me just say, I normally have at least like seven. This will be my side. I'm gonna put a picture of Peter in that one and a picture of me in that one. So we'll each have pretty pictures of each other. And then I kept the same side tables and I actually, like, I don't mind the way they look. Eventually, I'll maybe I'll get bigger, bigger ones, you know. Coming over here, I moved that mirror up from that wall. So now it's over here and eventually I'm going to get a cute um, plant. This light is just so small, but I made the most of what we had. <laughs> and then these curtains I have tied up just because they're a little too long. I will untie them. Um, because it gets really bright in here if you don't and then I had these three little things hanging over there and I moved them and I I actually kind of like the way that this looks better having them all like kind of close and then this side needs a lot of stuff still 
This is the new hamper I got. And then I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna keep this set up the way it is. Those are the little hand things that we did. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not exactly sure. I don't like how they look together, but I like how they look separately. So I don't know, I'm just gonna leave it there for now. Then I'm eventually going to get, um, like I was mentioning, a really big wood mirror to put in this corner. And that will take up a lot of space. We do use this a lot to like check our outfits, make sure we're matching, you know. I'm just gonna sit on the floor because it feels nice. When I was at Target, I was like, maybe I should just wait and do like I did with the kitchen and just save everything and do like a re a reno video once I have everything. But honestly, I think the only thing that I'm missing is a plant for over there by the mirror, a big mirror for the corner, and then I need some kind of um, like decoration for these walls over here. Other than that, like I had, I didn't really buy too much new stuff. Like with the kitchen, I literally gutted everything and started completely from scratch. I really like it. We have to see how Peter likes it. And also, the first video I made talking about all of the renovations I wanted to do around the house, um, I mentioned that I wanted to eventually get a king size bed for our room and everyone commented like, you can't fit a king size bed, there's not enough room. And I was like, obviously there's not enough room to keep it on that wall, but we have a pretty decent sized master bedroom. So I could fit a huge bed in here. I'm not sure how if the king size gets longer. I think they just get wider. That is still a possibility. Like I would still really like to get um, a king size bed. Oh, so I did get rid of that chair. Well, I didn't get rid of it. I put it in a room downstairs. Um, our landlord was nice enough to let us store it in their empty room because I asked her if she wanted it. I was like, I really want to keep it, but I don't. Like, I don't, ha I don't have a need for it right now. She's like, just keep it downstairs, it's fine. So, thanks her. I did think about seeing about, like we could get another dresser so that we could each have our own full dresser, which would be so nice because we both have a lot of clothes and I feel like they're just like jam packed in places. So that would be nice. But then also thinking ahead for whenever we have babies um, it would be nice to have all this extra room on this side of the room to have like a crib or whatever. Peter should be home soon, so I'm going to get the camera set up so that I can get his reaction right when he walks in the door. I think he probably, he's most definitely going to say like, that's my side, right? And I'm going to be like, no sir, we'll have to switch. We'll have to switch off. Whoa, what the heck? Which side? Uh-uh, uh-uh. You better put me back on this side. Uh-uh, this is my side. No, there's no way. I swear this to God. This is my side. Nope. <laughs> You're going to hate it because I'm going to have the window open. I'm going to love it. No. That's why I, that was one of the reasons for moving it so we can enjoy the Alyssa, window Alyssa, I'm not doing that. You better put my side back to where it was. <laughs> I'm not doing it. What do you think of it, Peter? Alyssa, I hate every bit of you being on my side. Peter! Other than that, it's wonderful. Pete. Sorry. Right. I freaking told you guys. It's I awesome. Know. It's freaking great. It's perfect. Aside from this whole thing that you have going on here. Alright, it's the first you, thing I looked at. The it's great. I don't yeah, know. I haven't see. slept in it yet. Back with here. Well, I have, I have to decide between either keeping this or keeping that. They what? don't match together. Why not? Because the hands are white? No, because it's different. It's just different. Hey, can you do this all the time? Can you do this and leave it open and like brighten here? It's perfect. Until nighttime comes. No. All right, guys. I freaking knew he was going to say that. I knew it for a fact. You I shouldn't mentioned have done it. it if you knew it. And, but he likes it, so that's good. We're going to um, hang out before he heads to the gym, and I will. I have two packages to open tonight, so stay tuned for the P.O. Box opening. I know one of these is from my mom. And it's this one because this one has who it's from. So I'm gonna open this one first. Ooh, what's this? Oh my, yes! I'm so excited for this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay, 
Wow, I'm so excited. I'm not even gonna try to explain it. I'll just show you guys. Oh my gosh. Mom, thank you. This is called the Adventure Challenge Book Couple Edition. So, oh my. I literally cannot handle how excited I am right now. So pretty much on all of these pages in here, there's these little gray boxes and those are actually like scratch off things. And then this here, I don't know if you can see it, um, it's tape. So you take a Polaroid picture and then you just stick it here. And each one of these is an adventure. So it tells you, the money symbol tells you approximately how much it will cost. The time symbol tells you the best time of day and night to do it. And then the um, hourglass is approximately how long it will take. Here, there's like a... What do you call this? Like a legend that tells you. So if there's a knife and a fork, it means that you're going to be eating. Um, if there is a shopping cart, that means you need supplies. This is so exciting. I'm, I can't even tell you how excited I am about this. My mom had mentioned this to me a long time ago. Oh no, one of the pages. Where did that even come from? Well, that's not good. There's like a random sticky thing right here. So I'll have to tell her about that. Ooh, grab another couple. That's fun. My mom just really gets me, guys. Shout out to her. Next up is this box, and I won't show the front because her address is on there. Um, I think that I know what this is, but I could be wrong. Okay, yes, I knew what this was. Okay, so backstory on this. This really sweet lady, I will have all of her information down below because I want to support her. She makes clay cake toppers. And she was kind enough to make one for my parents' vow renewal, which unfortunately we had to reschedule. Let me just take it out first. I gotta be really gentle. I'm sure she packed it really nice. Anyways, she has a business. So I will have it linked down below. Um, I know she has a Facebook page. She might have an Instagram and all of that stuff too. But I was contacting her primarily through Facebook. So. We're going to very carefully cut and open. Oh, there's a bunch of cute little stuff in here. Wow, this is so cute. She gave me these little, I don't know what you call these, like mini plates. And there's this one with, they all have little plants on them. So there's that one. And then this one with little cactus. That is really cute. Let me read the card before I go any farther. Okay, so about the topper, the base reads, well, I want to read that like once I open the topper so that I can read it to you. Okay. Dear Alyssa and Peter, I hope this finds you well. I hope you're happy with the topper you designed. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure I will. I've also included a few vintage trinkets. I think one used to be an ashtray, but I'm sure he'd love to hold salt or tea bags or whatever now. If you don't like something, please feel free to pass it on. May God bless you all and I hope you become famous. Wow. You're a great witness for the Lord and an, and an amazing example for other young wives. Take care and hug your parents. Kelly, I want to hear your last name. That is so kind. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this a... Kelly, you have outdone yourself. Look at this. I am seriously spoiled by you guys. Like, I honestly, when I opened the P.O. box, I was like, no one's gonna send me anything. Who do I think I am that people are gonna wanna send me anything? And I have been overwhelmed and just like, I feel so blessed by you guys, seriously. Who do I think it's, oh, these are all different. Okay, now we've got a little like, um, picture kind of thing. They match. Stop it now. <gasps> it's a little fish. <laughs> this is so freaking cute. I guess I saved the, the topper for last without even trying. Bring it in there. <gasps> oh. 
Oh my. I literally, you guys, I literally have goosebumps. This is amazing. You guys, she freaking made this thing by hand. It's a cake topper. So now I'll read you the thing. So the base reads, I loved you then, I love you still, always have, always will. So it says like around this little wood thing here. And then the tulips represent love and happiness and one for me and one for my sister. And then the butterfly. So the butterfly, my mom chose i asked her when i was messaging with kelly she was like do you is there like a symbol or like anything that represents your parents and so i asked my mom and she's like i don't know maybe like a butterfly and i was like okay why a butterfly i don't remember her exact words but it was crazy she was like we started off as an ugly little thing and and now look where we ended up we're like a beautiful butterfly and i was like wow mom how nice that's the reason of the butterfly it's a d for Dorian, H for Heather, O for O'Leary, and then the number 20, because that's how many years they've been married. And then these beautiful little tulips, there's so much attention to detail, like inside of the tulips. How did she do that? I'm, I'm like in shock at this. Like this is insane. Kelly, seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. I was not expecting this, like, I, I looked through her pictures on her Facebook because like, dang, these are really nice. But like, seeing this in person is so much different than seeing it in pictures. Well, guys, that's all I have for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know there was kind of a lot. Um, going back to the very beginning of the video, don't forget to think about those two things that I mentioned. The um, channel membership and if you guys would be interested in watching like weekly um world updates i guess i don't know just let me know what you guys are thinking i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed i have a lot of videos for you guys to watch while you are bored at home quarantine so make sure you scroll through my channel i hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night wherever you are and i will see you when i see you